Hello everyone! Alright, so I'm going to be running Arcage, the PTS, the public text server, to see how fast I can get 15 Guild of Stars to put down a 16x16 16 16 house and my 8x8 farm for the September 12th land rush. Uh, I will be doing this across the public test server, which already has 2.8 launched on it. It will have maybe plus or minus a few patches from whatever happens here to then. Uh, today is September 8th, so we have a couple of days. Uh, actually, right now, some of the live servers are currently down. So let's go ahead and get this done. Uh, I'm going to do it straight off of uh, creating a new character, just as if you were waiting for Morpheus to come up on select server. Uh, while everybody's clicking, of course, this may uh, you may have uh, plus or minus time depending on queues, depending if uh, there are any delays. So just be mindful of that. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and start this off, and I'll go ahead and start my time now. All right, let's do this. So I went ahead and I already loaded my presets for my character appearance. Uh, hopefully you have all done that. If not, then I really wouldn't spend too much time on here, uh, considering that you can always go to the credit shop and change your appearance there. All right, I'm gonna choose occultism. Name it Luna Test. Create character. Well, let's get rolling. So as you see, I've done this a few times. I've gone through and uh, just seeing what uh, what are better routes. Uh, last time I did it was in a, about a, an hour and 20 minutes, so I'm going to try to beat my time. Uh, one cool thing about 2.0 is they are going to be taking the uh, prologue out. Uh, you will be able to escape out of it. Now, I don't know if it's going to strictly just be cutscenes or if it's just going to be exit out of prologue completely. I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of the prologue completely. Uh, if by any chance it's just the cutscenes that you can escape, it's it just add like another minute or two to your time. Not a big deal at all. Beautiful new loading screen. So some cool updates about 2.0. Uh, there's gonna be guild management, some new guild levels, guild dominion. You're gonna have already two armor, some new housing. Gods, what a night. Okay, I don't care about that. I just want to go. Alright, cool. So we're in. So let's go ahead and start. Alrighty. Um, so I will primarily be doing the storyline quests, all the green quests. So you will see me uh, skip a lot of these uh, just normal quests and these kill quests. I will not be doing any of the dailies, maybe one or two. I'm going to go ahead and do this. There you go. And then make sure that you're using the quick shots. These quick shots will really... Oh, did not want to sit? What the hell? Alright, these quick shots will help you uh, keep your mana pools up instead of having to double dash and lose all your mana. So use those as much as you can. Now, there are times that I'm going to speed through this. Uh, just do a speed up on the video itself when I edit it out. Uh, that way you don't have to see me traversing just a bunch of land. Alrighty, let's see it here. Got four seconds left on my speedrun. Alright, I will do the mayor got one real quick. Get level two. There we go. Get all these. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and kill these boars real fast. Hmm, it doesn't seem that my key was on there. Alright. Just take a quick second to do that. That sparkle can be looted for items and coins. F right. <laughs> Tutorials are very annoying. So let's see if we can take them off real quick. Let's see here. Tutorials. Game info. Dang, what horse? There we go. Display. Display, display, display. Hmm. Functionality. 
Quest dialogue. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. You know what? I'm not dealing with it. Alrighty. Okay. Go ahead and talk to this guy real fast, and you'll be able to run straight ahead. However, we'll lo lower the volume on this just a tad bit. Let's see there. Let's bring it down to one. Cool. There we go. This should be a lot better. Uh, if you talk to Amy really quickly, she'll go ahead and give you a sampling. Just come off to the side. Just drop it. Shut up. Shut up. Come back over here. Making good progress so far. Four minutes and 34 seconds. Alright. Now, we do have a day one supply chest. Let's see what we have inside the day one supply chest. Okay. Uh, oops. Let's go ahead and pick up this quick shot here. And, alright, so let's go ahead and put this plus one necklace on. We're going to go ahead and pop one of these Adventurer's Potions. And I think just cancelled my quick shot effect out. That sucks. Alright. Let's see. Unstoppable forces. Some brick walls. Now, I heard some rumor, and I've seen around, that you may potentially be getting a griffin at the beginning of launch. Uh, so, if that is actually happening, this might be a little bit faster. Uh, another thing is, if you have some credits available from either, you know, a previous character that you sold your uh, your equipment on a different server and you transferred it over with Apex for credits, uh, you could always buy a glider if you have enough um, credits to do so, and it would also help out the process a lot. Um, I think you might be able to buy a mount. However, I know that they switched the mount out here at the beginning and where you can only get a mount at level 10. So let's look at travel, let's look at mounts. Um, so yeah, you might be able to. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead straight through here. I'm gonna cut through this. Go ahead and pick up uh, another quick shot. Keep using that. I don't wanna use up my mana. There's nothing else that I need there. Now, I am running uh, Occultism. My main class is Skull Knight. Um, I am going to pick up Oromancy so I can get Comet's Boom, and it's really going to help out. Let's go up this uh, tree real fast. Just jump off the tree. Just so you know, this here is going to be a huge bottleneck. You're going to come over. There's going to be like 30 fucking people trying to climb this tree. Just get to the top. Get down as fast as you can. Press F. As soon as you see the gear, jump off. Press up again as soon as you land and just go. No reason to hang out. Alright. So now these quests up here, there are some kill quests here that I am going to do just because it gives equipment. And you need any type of little bit of an edge to be able to go as fast as you can. So let's go to the monolith uh, ghost real fast. There we go. There we go. Cool. And I'm just going to run normally while my mana. Uh, regenerates. Now, when you're over here, I believe it is the Hooligan Velpo. Careful with this guy, he is pretty strong. If you're in a group, it won't be that bad, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and stick to the lackeys. They will drop your item that you need relatively quickly. Uh, another way that you can get some uh, experience is via the achievements. Now a lot of these achievements are really easy to get and just by using some of the heart's beats and mind's edge that you get right at the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on my hotkey real fast just in case. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do Oromancy, confirm, and I'm going to do Comet's Boom. It's already on two. There we go. Comet's Boom did get uh, a buff, so it does hit quite a bit of, bit of damage as you can see right there. Kill this guy. There we go. Forgot to get, loot that body. And then this is the cool thing about Comet's Boom. Speed up quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and use one of these mindsets just to go ahead and get the achievements. Let's go ahead and uh, that. Go ahead and accept. 
and click, and then you should be pretty far away to, you can be do it pre from pretty far away, rather. Go ahead and complete that quest. All right, let's go ahead and click okay. I am going to open up the loot real fast. Put this on, I'm gonna do the bow. There we go. And the staff to get some magic attack. Normally, uh, Skull Knight, I will be running off with uh, Shield and Scepter or Shield and Katana. Ah, man. So every time that you uh, double tap to run after the quick shot, it will cancel it out. So just make sure to remember that. These tutorials or these little hints are really, really aggravating. Um, go ahead and talk to Researcher Miles first. There we go. Quick shot again, and then just straight through here. Alright. So we're at level 5, and we're at less than 10 minutes. 9 minutes and 50, and well, 10 minutes now. So cool. Let's go ahead and speak to Marion. Alright. Go ahead and escape. Ooh. Use your little item there. Okay. I get confused sometimes and I just press escape way too much. Alright. So let's get over to the monolith. I will always do the monolith really quickly. Uh, first, and then go to the corpse, and then I can just run out that way. Let's go ahead and move there. Escape. It's a lot of fucking blood, bro. Alright. I don't see any quick shots around here, so I'm just gonna go straight down. I don't have a kill quest for quite a bit, so I'm gonna come let's boom out of here. Alright. Awesome. So I'm definitely excited for Morpheus. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of new guilds, a lot of new faces, and some old ones. Uh, there's gonna be some, some guilds and players from my old server from Taiyang that I'm excited to see and hang out with and potentially PvP. That uh, La Shepherd Liam, um, he has a kill quest and kind of like sheep wool gathering quest. Uh, it takes really long, so I'm just not going to do that. I'm just going to go into the home real fast, come in and jump out. For some reason, this is closed. Cool. Come on. Uh, I always go all the way up to the window because for some reason sometimes it glitches out and it doesn't complete as soon as you just come up into the steps. Alright. Now I'm slowed down a little bit. Hmm. I haven't seen any new housing yet. So hopefully we'll see some and you'll be able to get to see some throughout my video. So I will be streaming throughout the uh, the launch. I'll probably be doing a 24-hour stream. Maybe doing some giveaways, which I am excited about. I'm going to go ahead and talk to Supervisor Paul. Supervising with his pickaxe. This, uh, these trees here, you can cut down three of them and you will overachieve. So if you got a few seconds, and there isn't a horde of people here go it's for it if not then just complete it and move on now one thing if you are a veteran player like I am back um, uh, alpha days and beta going into launch this is where you got your mount at first for some reason that quest is no longer there so you have to wait till level 10 to be able to actually get a mount Now, I'm just going to go through here. 
blacksmith real fast. Cool. And this is where I will. Sp All right, guys. So I did do a little bit of a test, um, and I diverted from my normal path. I wanted to check to see uh, with this new little patch to see if I could get them out right away instead of having to wait for the quest or level 10. Uh, so all I did was just come straight over here. Uh, some of the weapons that I had gotten earlier, I just went ahead and took them and sold them to the stable hand to be able to purchase uh, a brown lily at uh, full, which is 10 uh, silver, and then purchase the Vita root that I got over here, a Vita seed rather. Um, so uh, wasn't too bad. So let's see if I can actually mount him. Hopefully I should be able to. If not, this is a total waste of time, because I'm at 17 minutes right now. Alright, and... Let's see. Oh, look at that! I can! So, great. That'll definitely help out a lot. I do know that they took out the, uh, the quest over there, so... Now we have, uh... A great uh, piece of head here, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and get off this mount. Oh, go. I know that you can uh, you can do quests with the mount, but you have a trade pack. So this is what the unfinished houses look like now. That's kind of cool. Alrighty, um... There we go. Take a few seconds. Now she does give you a quest to go ahead and kill the harpies, but I'm not going to worry about that right away. I'm just going to keep going. Again, it's all about time. Alright. So thankfully pausing the video uh, helped out. Or I could just go straight there and check it out. Um, so now you know. Instead of running around just go ahead straight once you get to Desirene for any of the equipment that you receive that you don't need go ahead and sell it real fast pick yourself up a, a Vita seed pick yourself up a horse really quickly it will it will really help out so let's go ahead and keep moving again you know there is that whole uh, thing with the griffin so if you are getting a griffin which doubles as a glider then that's awesome so hopefully we will get it on launch. I haven't seen anything on PTS about it, and I actually really haven't seen anything myself on the forum, so I can't confirm nor deny it. Let's get through here. Alright. Just trying to go as fast as I can. So right over there uh, is where you'll be able to make a guild too, just down here at the central square. Hopefully I will be creating my guild as soon as I get there. Now I'm not even going to get off my horse here, just go straight through this. Again, main thing we're looking for is the Guild of Stars, so green quests. Now there is a little bit of a shortcut here. If you have a glider, just glide all over this. You know, it'll be a lot faster. If you don't, come over here, jump with this ladder, and go down the, the cliff. There is a little bit of fall damage but it really helps out and it speeds up your time significantly. Real quick, speak to Baker, speak to um, everybody that you need to pick up your, pick yourself a rowboat. And when you're going across, I don't use the rowboat. I actually just swim since I do have quite a bit of mind's edge on me. I will just swim. Alrighty. Really helps out having these uh, like double XP potions. Okay, so I'm just gonna run over. Yes, because I do need that. Let's escape out of here. And let's just go. Alrighty. Okay, so we made it over here real quick. Let's go ahead and speak to Chloe. Alright. 
Let's go ahead and speak to Carl. Pick up your uh, leather or cloth. I'm just going to go ahead and pick up cloth real quick. I'm going to put it on real fast. Just because it's going to help me fight it, fight these uh, these blood hands. Alright. go. So we're already at five guildas and let's see, we're at seven marathons. Alright. You have mail. Visit the nearest. Well, apparently I have mail. I wonder what that's all about. Alright. So kill this guy first. I really miss all of my keybinds. Let's go ahead and get the quest here. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and just finish off these quests. Oh wow, I completely missed that. So, eight of these guys. Let's do it. Alright. Got the instructions. Look at that damage. It's good damage from Comet's Boom. So, man, I mean... <laughs> I think it's pretty exciting that uh, the GMs are deciding to come over to Morpheus. Oh, we have a clipper over there. Yeah, I mean, they're, they've made a post. They're requesting people to go ahead and help them figure out what build they're going to be and what kind of... Uh, what kind of faction they're going to be. However, it seems like there is a lot of people going east on Morpheus, so... I don't know if um, that's a good thing, because most people are just going to vote east, and I feel like everybody is going to want to go east afterwards, considering if the GMs are over there, just to be on their side, I guess? I don't know. But uh, it, could, it could have a negative effect on the west, and since I'm going west, obviously I want to be the popular faction. Right. Use a mind's edge. Yep. Now, I normally don't like clicking on stuff, but I don't have my keybind set up, so I I just am. Alrighty. Now there is another there is a quest for uh, Bloodhand Captain that you can pick up somewhere over here. I'm not too worried about doing it. I just want to get through here as fast as I possibly can. I did pick up this unidentified confessor armor. I don't know exactly what it is. We'll check it out though. A lot of this stuff I'm probably just going to be breaking down for the most part. Just to have enough bag space. Alright. After this I'm going to turn in and then I'm just going to head out straight that way. Cool. There we go. Turn this in. Alright. Here we go. Am I glitching? Nope, I'm not. Alright. Let's get on the horse. And just ride out. Now, whenever you get over here, there are some, uh, like, areas where you can, uh, gushers that'll bubble you up, so just watch out for that. Back. Let's see here. Let's jump off. I'm going to do cloth lowers. Go. Get this quest up. Just one turtle liver. So, Go ahead and kill one real fast. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. No, wait. I clicked on the wrong thing. For some reason, I had thought that I opened the confessor armor and it gave me three pieces. Right, there we go. I am actually going to open that up though real fast. It might be something that I can... Oh, level eight. Alright. Let's see. And 99.50%. Let's kill this turtle real quick. See if it'll drop it on the first drop. Alright, there you go, perfect. Uh, skills. Uh, do hell spears. I can't do hell spears yet. Eh. 
That's fine. Let's run out. Alright. Talk to this guy. Here we go. Let's get back on our mount. And just go. Disconnected from the game. I still am running my timer. Um, I'm at 29 minutes and 38 seconds. Um, I had paused it whenever I got I crashed. And I, I'm coming back in now. Um, I guess it sucks because the PTS really isn't fully stable um, just yet. I know there was supposed to be some type of hotfix. Wait a second, for some reason my quests aren't showing up. Hmm, it looks like the quest that I completed just before came back up as uncompleted. So let's see. Wait a second. That's weird. No, oh, they're just not showing up on my mini map. Hmm. Awkward. Alright, well, let's keep going. So yeah, it, it uh, just disconnected, and it's kind of like how launch is going to be. You know, you're going to get disconnected, there's going to be some issues, servers are going to crash, and that's just the way of it. So, it's you're not going to have a perfect time, ever, you know, and that's just one of those things. So, we're just going to keep going as is, and uh, I'm currently at 30 minutes and 50 seconds. I still think we're doing pretty good time, so let's go ahead and knock these out real quick. Uh, I am going to pick up this quest here, because these growlings are pretty easy to kill. Um, let's go to Ellie. There we go. Let's speak to Farm Farmer, there we go. Let's kill the groundlings really quickly. Just careful with the rabbits. It's kind of annoying um, to fight anything here. But for some reason, my UI changed. My hotkeys changed just now. Whenever I did get disconnected. So that's kind of awkward. Now I have that back there. Interesting. I don't like that. Wait. What the hell is going on? There we go. Alright, um, Growling, come here. There we go. Get that little bonus with that, uh, Comet's Boom. Comet's Boom is, is really good now. Aside from giving yourself a speed boost, you do some decent damage. Two more. There's one. I'm a very mobile person, so I like to jump around. Don't backpedal though. Try not to backpedal. Alright. Use melee attacks ten times. Is this considered melee attack? It says from range. No, no, it's magic attack. Oh. Huh. That's weird. Hey. Doesn't matter to me. So I'm not going to be doing any, uh, any of those other quests there. I'm just going to go straight through here. Level 8, 40%. This next quest is pretty close, so I don't have to speed this portion up at all. Alright. Talk to them. There's more stuff I can break down. Get in the water. Come on. Speed up. Just gotta grab this real fast. This is another bottleneck here. Because a lot of people are going to be in here trying to pick up these uh, these rings, so you may have to go to one that's a little bit further. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pick up the staff, and I am going to go ahead and equip that now, because that will help my attack. Go ahead and do that. Let's get back on the horse and ride out. All right. So I want to check the mail, but. Uh, I don't even know if I want to. Here's some of the new housing. That's interesting. Uh, medium and large houses now have upgrades. So uh, I believe there's a, like three or four different types 
So for example, that's an armor, and there's like a weapons one. There is a traders one. Apothecary. Here's the new mansion, or at least the uh, backside of it. Looks pretty cool, kind of like a Disney castle in a way. All right, let's just keep going. Oh, those public farms. Public farms are going to be used a lot during launch. I know I used them a lot. Oh. Some quests will give you a free oh. mount to raise. Cool. There we go. Now you're talking about mounts. I will not be picking up the one for Mayor Fergus. Uh, there's really no need for that at the moment. I will uh, finish this quest off with Blacksmith of Eric. And I will go ahead and uh, I'll grab the bow. Oh, yeah, I'm not. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get on my mount. I'm gonna go ahead and ride all the way to Black. Alright guys, so I'm not quite just there yet, but I did want to go ahead and show off some of the map, the new uh, map options that you have. You can actually go ahead and draw some lines here. It's good for like attacking uh, methods, kind of show people which uh, which way they should be going. Have a little eraser attacking point, so let's go attack Souls of the Plains. We'll meet up at the Blue Mist Forest, and we'll attack from the western side flank this way so it, it'll help out when it comes to big raids and big formations so raid leaders please use that to the best of your extent now there's a quest that you could pick up right there the uh, swimwear the lost swimwear that you can give to warden however I'm not gonna worry about that that is another bottleneck after it's picked up you have to wait like two to three minutes before it spawns again and you really shouldn't be waiting that long I'm also not going to ride uh, back, I'm just going to go ahead and teleport to Lacton. Uh, that's, you get three Hereafter Stones just starting off. The Day 1 pack gave us uh, 10 of the Bound ones, so let's just go ahead and teleport back. We have enough, it'll cut us some time, and we can just continue on our merry way with our, our guild quests. Alright, so let's go ahead and straight over here, I'm going to shoot to this house here. Uh, you gotta talk to this little thing. I think this is another little bottleneck, if I could remember correctly, because you have to wait for that to spawn. Let's go back over. The biggest bottleneck that I saw during launch is coming up here in a few seconds. Let's go ahead and pick up. Yeah. It's this, this little, uh, Whoa. See that? I keep trying to use my hotkeys. My keybinds, rather, but I don't have them set up. Alright, so. This little spot right here. That is kind of a shitty. shitty quest there. So. Uh, a lot of people get stuck there, or unless they change something since uh, the first launch. Uh, it takes like two to three minutes for the second quest to pop up. So you go and turn in a quest. Um, after you talk to the statue, you have to wait to toggle. It'll toggle another quest that you can go ahead and pick up. Um, however, it takes like two, three, two, three, 20 to 30 seconds, I would say, for it to pop up again after somebody go ahead and, and, and does it. So let's say there's. 20 to 30 people there trying to go ahead and go through that, it's gonna get annoying. People start uh, putting up portals, they start messing you with skills, they start summoning your their mounts to try to push you away, it gets stupid. Obviously we know that there's a lot of trolls out there, so just try to get here as fast as you can. When you come up to the flora, just go ahead and spam F. Spam F. Spam it. Can't, can't stress it enough. Just spam it. Alright, cool. So we're at level 9. Let's go ahead and keep going. Now, during launch, I probably will be buying a glider. 
um, just to speed up the process since I do have enough credits. However, if you don't have enough credits, uh, just don't worry. Just make sure that you get your mounts. Um, there are a few other options that you can do. Uh, as soon as you get into Liliot Hills, you'll be able to get a, a gl basic glider in Bear Mountain. Um, but uh, throughout this entire process, I'm going to do it without the glider, just so you guys can see uh, that it can be done relatively quickly without, without one. Alright, so here we're going to go ahead and want to pick up every single one of the quests here. You will get gear from uh, these quests, so it, it, it behooves you to go ahead and just pick them all up. All of them. Talk to uh, Kobe. There we go. Well, let's go down here. Remember that even if there is gear that you don't need specifically, it's good to break it down and uh, get the Archeum from it. Oh, you know what? I just noticed something. Um, nope, we don't have any. Giant staff. Put that up. Okay. Oh. Great. Cool. All right. Now let's head down. Alrighty, cool. So here we are. Barween. All right. Just so you know, these uh, these foods that you're about to get. Uh, I don't have my inventory yet. You're, the foods you're about to get actually do uh, give you achievements. So go ahead and eat one or two of them really quickly. So a little bit of speed boost. This is a crafting. All right. These Zephyr Elementals, you do have an item in here that you can use to go ahead and stop them from kicking you back. However, I'm using long range, so I don't really have to worry about that too too much. It's mainly for melee, uh, melee players. So, let's see. I'm just going to kill these guys really quickly. Alright, cool. So let's go here. Pick this up. Pick this up. Confirm. Gives me level 10. I can go ahead and start doing the blue salt stuff. And so I can get my 8x8, which I'm gonna need. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, uh, this blue salt quest really quickly. Okay. Should have some water left over, yeah. So what I did was I just picked up extra water foreseeing that I'd had to do I would have to do this. <clears throat> so I picked up extra water when I was go ahead and raising my mouth. Let's go to potato eyes and just plant them anywhere. This is this might be full uh, when you come in, so just plant them in anywhere you possibly can. Let's go. Here. Do salt brotherhood. Go. Find the Great. Alright, and use this. Cool. Get some Gilda Stars. Should be at like 13 now. Not nope, 10. Great. Build Building your first small garden. 
Now, this quest does not give you anything good. Uh, the next quest doesn't give you much of anything good either. But we're just gonna go ahead and run straight over to Riverspan. Uh, also, now that you're level 10, you can speak to the uh, Nui statue to get a quest, and you should be able to get uh, a Gilda Star from it. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and talk to the Priestess. Get that Gilda Star. Easy. Easy XP, easy guild to star. Awesome. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy real fast. Boom. I am going to do this quest really quickly just to get some extra XP real fast. Generally, I complete this one pretty quickly. We're at 51, 51 minutes right now. 51 minutes and 12 seconds. So, we're doing well. Right. Let's go pick up these two things real fast. Kill this Cobalt Warrior. Yep. Alright. Oh, you know what? I forgot that I can get my defense tree. I'm gonna go ahead and put one in refreshment just to have some extra health as a just in case. As you never know. And refreshments. Oh, a lot. Now, one thing that you can pop that I have not popped um, since we started is the defense candy. So, the magic defense and physical defense uh, candy which is these two right here, Pumpkin Spice and Batty Butterscotch. Uh, there aren't really any mobs that I really have to worry about that uh, take me down health so low that I need to use it or hit that hard throughout this entire process, so I'm just going to save them for later. All right, so I just brought that over to LA. Uh, I was debating whether I should grab that or not. Probably shouldn't have, but hey, you know what? This is the way I do it. And if you don't like it, well, it kind of sucks to do. Let's go ahead and pick these up real fast. Um, let me go in here. I need to kill this guy. So yeah. Here's a, here's another little bottleneck. Right. So this guy, every time you kill him, you have to wait until he respawns, and it's you only complete the quest if you get the first hit on him, or you out DPS him. And he's a level 11, so out DPSing really isn't the question. All right. Talk to Humphrey. Humphrey should give you an item that you use real quick. Or it's Mazda. That guy, yep. So, there we go. Use that statue. If you yeah. ask me. That should be 14. And actually, I might be able to run ahead. So, let's do so. Uh... Alright, so now that we're here, I uh, just wanted to let you know 
that if you don't have a glider and you want to go ahead and get a glider before you get to this point, just continue doing the quest over uh, by Riverspan Fallen Fortress, and that will get you to Bear Mountain where you can go ahead and get your first crabby glider. Um, come speak to Servant Emma. You actually have to have her highlighted or selected rather, and talk to her with uh, Humphrey's letter. Alright. And I have 14 Guild of Stars now. So now we need to just go ahead and go down to Old Pine. We're at 57 minutes. If we have a glider, you could easily just jump off this ledge and just go straight down. However, since we don't have one, we're just going to run straight down this way. All right, here we are, guys, in the last little leg. Let's go ahead and pick up our final guild star. Cool. So now we have 15. We can go ahead and go to Mirage, and uh, go ahead and pick up our house. So let's go ahead and go to Windshade, and we'll show you. I'll show you that uh, while I tell you some some things. We're currently at 59 minutes and 40 seconds. I will stop the time once we actually have the uh, design. Now some people are going to be able to get this done a little bit faster than I did. Uh, some people might take longer depending on the quest that you pick up. Uh, if you go ahead and pick up um, like a mount right at the beginning, or if you have, for example, the Founder's Pack, which they're still indecisive whether they're going to be uh, releasing it or not, then you have a glider in that. I think it's the the Phoenix Gliders, that's what it's called. So you'll have a little bit of an advantage. Um, you know, again, if you purchase one and stuff like that, I think uh, during the original launch, I saved maybe two to three minutes uh, by having a glider and just using the glider everywhere and any chance I could. But really, the mount is really what's going to help you out the most. Uh, if we, if everybody does get that Griffin. Um, it will help out immensely, but at the same time, that means there's going to be more people uh, right next to you on it. Visit Mirage I'm just going to come this houses, way. Ships, mounts, Actually, I'm more. just going to pop, jump on my mount. And I get stuck there. Go straight down, and I personally don't really care which uh, which house I get. I just need to grab one. So, here we go. Just gonna grab a house. Okay, 15 Guild of Stars. And there you go, I have my design. I have my 8x8, and I have my uh, cottage design. So, you can go to wherever it is that you like, place down your, uh, your land, just make sure you get there as fast as you can. And, uh, yeah. Have fun, guys. I hope this really helps out uh, during launch to whoever watches this video, and you continue to watch my videos. And stay tuned for the uh, live stream on the 12th. I will be doing the 12th.